Hi you all, it's Monique with Texas Gal Studio. I said I wanted to come to you all with the projects as I'm creating them for my shop on Etsy, my little side hustles to give you all some ideas. Maybe you could create these to make this become a side hustle for you and make some money. So these items I did not have on hand. I needed to invest, obviously, purchase some of the items. I want to say that I spent seven and twenty-three, about thirty-two to thirty-three dollars on the entire items to create what I'm about to show you. So we are going to create today these fun little faux leather key fobs, and of course, you can create with real leather. I just wanted to start off with a low low cost project since I have never done this before I wanted to become a little bit more um, trained to create these so I purchased the hardware I purchased the faux leather sheets so the sheets I found on Amazon pretty much everything I found on Amazon there were four sheets for $6.99 and of course the black one but the black one I've already cut up to its strips I calculated 25 cents each little strip like this so this is 11 inches and it's one inch wide so 25 cents each for the little strips coming out of the 6.99 pack then the hardware there's about 60 pieces of hardware and there's four different colors it's a silver the rose the copperish tone and then the gold that one 60 pieces with its crimper tool right you need to crimp that down $23.99 so the calculations for that is each one is about 40 cents excuse me I was drinking coffee each one is 40 cents on the hardware and of course 25 cents so that's about under a dollar 65 cents I did use adhesive to bring the entire project together oh uh, you know in the inside part I don't use that much but you know if you're going to use this as a calculation I think I paid about $4.99 or $6.99 in between five to six dollars on the adhesive so like i said i paid about 30 initially 30 to 35 dollars for this entire little kit of course i made the kit i bought the kit on its own in amazon i bought the leather i bought the e6000 and this you can find of course at michael's hobby lobby and maybe use a 40 percent coupon to save a little bit on that but that's just me starting off something and I'm thinking I well I've already put, posted them up on Etsy I have these at five dollars on my Etsy shop and then if I add uh, charms which I'm also letting people you know choose the charms if they want to choose the lightning bolt and stuff it sounds like hubby just got here um, that's what I'm including so it'd be like five to five fifty I think the most I have these are six dollars because you're adding extra charms but other than that that's a pretty long intro let me turn this camera around that way I can show you how to create these fun little faux leather key bobs so right here what I'm using is just a little cutter here to cut one inch off my material here but you can use obviously a blade as well a ruler um pretty much anything scissors you know just if you're a good um cutter i'm not so i decided to use this and we're going to take this one inch and let me move this out of the way okay so this is the one we're going to be creating and you just look at your design if you want the flower to be the main one uh showcasing you know the flower see how back here you have the paisley um, then you'd want that to be like the main focus so you'd make sure that you put that facing right there opposed to where you're going to um, squash these things down does that make sense because that's the front of it so or the main the main focus the main showcase so that's where we're going to want to put that so we'll just line that up And then on this, I like to put a little bit of adhesive, so I'm going to be using E6000. And I don't put that much. I just want a little bit right on the edge so it could stick to 
the metal. We'll just line that up. Get your tool. Start squashing that a little bit. And you have to fidget with it. I don't I don't go all the way down right away. I go slow so I could continue moving it as I need to. Back here as well. And just keep checking on it. Checking the back, make sure that's even. You can see there are the teeth that you could see. So far that looks good and even. I'm just going to go down already. There you go. Give it a good squeeze. And there you go. And of course you have your adhesive there. Everything looks really, really clean back here. And you got your wristlet. Isn't that super neat? So. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to teach you something new. I will come back with another set of projects. Uh, I, like I said, I wanted to come and show you how to create your own earrings. That would be one. Then create your own maybe necklace and bracelet. That could be another video. But stay tuned. I want to come and teach you what I know. And I also have a sinking fun video coming up as well. So stay tuned for that. Y'all be safe, stay strong. Attitude is everything.